Hey everybody, Dave here. Today we are going to do something very different from normal. I play Minecraft on our realms in Minecraft Java with my family. Uh, so that's my wife and my son. Sometimes there are activities that are just super boring. You need to grind for something. You need to do something over and over again. And there are certain aspects that you could automate. There's various ways to do this. I chose to sort of combine two things that I enjoy. One is Power Automate Desktop and the other is Minecraft and, and use them together in just a slightly funny way. And this is pretty easy to do. So you could build this along with me if you'd like. In just a little bit, I'm going to show you how to build it from scratch. It's not that difficult, but I'm going to show every single step just so that you have something to follow. In case you're not familiar with Minecraft, maybe I should start with showing you fishing in Minecraft. So I have a fishing rod that has the maximum enchantments that help you to catch fish faster, basically. And what I'm going to do is right click and it throws out a bobber and it'll sit here. And eventually you're going to see some splashing happening and it'll let it kind of make its way toward the bobber. So there it is. You see that that splashing and then I can right click and pull in a fish. Let me do that again. And I'll I want you to actually notice the little splashes that happens that makes its way toward the bobber because that's sort of important here. And uh, it's kind of random how long it takes. There it is. Okay. And then I can right click and it pulls in a fish. That time I got string. Okay. Now from here, how do you automate this? Well, there's, there's auto fishers that exist out there. You can use an auto clicker that will just click, 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 click. And then you build this sort of structure in Minecraft that takes advantage of, of bugs or exploits in the game or, or just takes advantage of game mechanics in order to trigger you being able to automatically fish and it's raining again. Why? Why is it doing this to me? Okay, it's not raining anymore. <laughs> All right. So there are other ways to automate fishing in Minecraft, but I want to be clear that most of those ways eventually will break. And I think if you've ever looked this up, you'd find that. Uh, eventually auto fishing concepts or mechanics or, you know, uh, constructs or whatever will all break eventually because Microsoft will, or Mojang will try to patch it. In this situation though, there's virtually no way it's ever going to be patched and it will always work. It involves using accessibility settings. So go into your uh, settings by hitting escape for me on the keyboard. I go to options and then accessibility settings. And then on the top right here, show subtitles. I'm gonna turn that on. And then I'm gonna hit escape to go back out. And now whenever I right click, you're gonna see on the bottom right, subtitles to sort of indicate the sounds that are occurring right now. And so I can take advantage of that in this case. So there, whenever you have one of those uh, little fish, the little um, splashing come up to your bobber and grab on the bobber and pull it into water, you'll see it show on the right side, it's, okay, it's about to happen fishing bobber splashes. Okay. We can use that. So we go into power automate. Again, I'm going to show you how to do this later. And I'm just going to hit run on this. And then I'm just going to throw the bobber out once and it's going to sit there and check. You can see it kind of flashing over on the left side. I just pointed at my screen as if you can see me pointing. Eventually though, it's going to see that text pop up and it should trigger a right click. Okay, I haven't touched the key, the, my mouse at all. It's gonna wait a few seconds and then it throws the bobber back out again. So now I'm just taking my hands off. I just wanna prove, because this doesn't prove anything. Somebody else could be controlling my mouse for me. And then it should throw the bobber back out again. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's still, it doesn't matter how many times I automate something, it still impresses me when something like that works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this though. And I wanna show you how to build this yourself. So I'm going to actually build the same flow. I want to keep this kind of simple. Uh, I, I have a tendency, if you've never watched me before, I have a tendency to go off on a tangent <laughs> and just build all kinds of things and make it un unnecessarily robust. So uh, I'm going to create a new flow and we're just going to mimic the same things that I made in that flow. You can follow it yourself if you want. So auto fishing two. is what I'm going to name my flow. I should go ahead and stop here and say, if you haven't used Power Automate Desktop before, you may be like, what in the world is this program that I'm using and how do I get it? Well, this is a free application. If you go into the Microsoft Store on your computer, sometimes it's called the Windows Store, Microsoft Store. Go in and search for Power Automate. And you'll see this icon right here. That's the Power Automate icon. And then you can click for you. It'll say like get, and you can click get. It'll take a minute to install. Uh, and then you open it. You will need a Microsoft account to log in, but it can be any Microsoft account. 
And if you don't have one, then you can, uh, Microsoft will create one for you based upon a Gmail account or whatever. So it's really easy to get uh, right here. You just install that and then open it, log into it with your Microsoft account. You should see something similar to the screen that I have above. It might look a little different, but it should look basically the same. Click new flow. You can name it whatever you want. I named mine Minecraft Auto Fishing 2. I'm going to click create. First thing that I'm going to do is something not 100% necessary, but I'm going to just use a wait command or a wait. What do we call these in this tool? An action? I've definitely used this tool before. Okay. Let's bring the wait action over. I'm going to put uh, five seconds into it. Save. This is going to give us a little bit of time before it actually starts running in case we decide to do anything like right click right away or something like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is create an infinite loop. There's multiple ways you could do this, but I'm just going to put an infinite loop by typing the word loop. Grab this loop condition action, and then we're just going to put uh, one equals one because I think that's funny. And the goal of this is we want to loop inside this just forever until I stop the flow. The primary action that we need to make this happen is going to be OCR, bring over if text on screen. OCR stands for optical character recognition. So that's kind of like interpreting images as text. So if you had a picture of a word, then you want to be able to interpret that picture as a word. That's what we're going for because we see sort of text and buttons uh, with text on them inside of Minecraft. We want to interpret it as text and then be able to do something with it or uh, make decisions based upon it. If text exists, OCR engine, Windows OCR engine, this is better than Tesseract. Text to find, uh, I can't actually remember the text, so let's go right click and I'm gonna wait for the fish to come grab the bobber and I'm just gonna watch to see what the text is on the screen on the bottom right. Fishing bobber splashes. The F is capital, the B is capital, and the S is not. So fishing, fishing bobber splashes. Let's type here, fishing bobber splashes. And then it's not a regular expression. The search to text, okay, so search for text on. I'm gonna choose foreground window because I would imagine that's gonna be a little more performance. So it only needs to search inside of the foreground window, whatever is in the front. But you could probably do entire screen. And then the other thing you could do if you wanted to make this a little better is you could key in on a specific part of the window or a specific part of the screen by using this. However, we're gonna make this easy and just go with whole of specified source. That means the entire foreground window. So whatever window I click on, it is gonna look inside of that while this is running to look for fishing bobber splashes and then do something. I'm gonna probably not change any other values in here. We're gonna go save. The last part is super simple. We're gonna do send mouse click. Drop that in here. Let's let's choose right click because uh, just in Minecraft, when you fish, you're doing you send a right click in order to um, send the bobber out, sort of cast it out, and then also to reel it in. So let's um, do mouse event to send is a right click. We don't want to wait any time. We want to immediately do it. We don't need to move the mouse. Let's save, and then let's copy and duplicate this stage. I just did Control C, Control V. And then in here, I want to also put a wait. So I'm going to copy this wait stage, or I, I call it a stage. This is an action, My blue prism terminology coming out. And then uh, I think I want to do this for four seconds. And that's just the amount of time that I have found when I right click. Okay, we'll wait for a fish to come. And then what I want you to watch for is how long does the text stay on the screen? So fishing bobber splashes. So it's about four seconds. And, or at the very least, it's, it's less than four seconds. Pruh. I just don't understand why it wants to rain so much. It really wants to rain. And then we're going to go back over here. So, wait five seconds. <laughs> wait five seconds. And then loop forever. And in that loop, you want to check to see if the text fishing bobber splashes exists in the foreground window. So, the foreground window could be this one. That's the foreground window. Foreground window could be this one. Right, whatever you have clicked into right then. Right click immediately, so that should reel it in, and then wait four seconds, and then send out the bobber again, or cast it out, and then it should come back up, and it should uh, check to see if it's on screen. Now it's gonna loop over and over and over again, like really fast. I'm gonna change the run delay to one second, and uh, 
Something to note is that you need to be careful about this fishing bobber splashes exists. I put this weight here because it gives me time to go click over into this window. If I tried to run this without the weight, it would see the words fishing bobber splashes inside of Power Automate desktop's window. <laughs> that would satisfy the condition and it would go in and it would start right clicking and stuff. So uh, we can uh, actually save this. Let's make the window smaller. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work right. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to hide fishing bobber splashes. There we Will that work? So I want to hide fishing bobber splashes so it doesn't see itself ever, just to make sure. And then we're going to run this. I'm going to click over here, hit escape, and then I'm just uh, going to right click. I'm going to let it sit there. And you can see Power Automate is looping on the left side. There we go. It saw the text, reeled it in, and then it waits four seconds, throws that out again, and now it's going to wait for that text again. And there we go. We got ourselves another fish. Now we can go get a coffee, go take a nap, you know, whatever we need to do. I don't know why coffee is always a thing that uh, you go do during a break when something is doing your work for you, but it just seems appropriate. Okay, we'll let it go a few times here. A uh, couple things to note, you can run Power Automate Desktop without this window on the left. So I'm going to let it throw out here for a second. Just want to point out this window, you don't have to have this open. You can close it and I'll show you how to run it from the console in a second in case you never used Power Automate Desktop before. But uh, go ahead and stop this now. So I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to close this and then here's the console. These are both exactly the same, but I'll run the one we just um, used. I'm going to click run. Obviously there's that four seconds that it's waiting. I'm going to click over here, right click just to throw it out the first time. And now it should do the same thing as it has been doing, except this time it technically runs faster when it's in run from the console like this. And so it's going to be more performance. Something you could encounter depending on the performance of your computer is that uh, it may not trigger the right click fast enough to pick up the fish now and then. Because I have found that if I let this sit here for a while, it is possible that now and then, like right here, it may not right click fast enough to get the fish. And I think one of the ways you can solve that is by making your window smaller. So you can see that I just, I don't have this full screen. If I were to make it full screen, I think that the optical character recognition would go maybe a little too slow sometimes. It wouldn't always catch the fish fast enough. You have kind of like a small window in which you need to hurry up and right click. But that's it. That's how you can automate fishing in Minecraft in literally any version of Minecraft. And it should always work as long as sound captions or subtitles are turned on and as long as they continue to support that. But since it's an accessibility feature for people who have a hard time uh, uh, hearing, they can read the text on screen. I don't think that Microsoft is going to get rid of that accessibility feature anytime soon because that would be messed up. It should be there forever. So you can always auto fish in Minecraft. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.